job as Pizza Rat. It's gonna be so awesome. That was a good joke to start with, but we don't like it. Okay? I found that out. What's everyone's names? Okay, last question I ask. I just got banned from Instagram. Exclu uh, only when I'm drunk, though. By royal decree, the king saith. I'm not allowed on there anymore. I was sending too many risky DMs. Yep. That means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. For some people, a risky DM is like, you see a supermodel and you respond like, please let me smell you. <laughs> but for me, what a risky DM is, is that I see that someone I met twice at a party in college is going on a vacation and I write, looks fun. <laughs> Looks fun, enjoy yourself, be safe, but do have fun. Some people just like post a photo of a hamburger and I'll respond like, yum. <laughs> yum, you gotta give me a pin to that one, you gotta. I wake up in the morning, I have a pounding headache, I'm hungover, I look at my phone, I see someone responding, thanks, and I'm like, what did I do last night? Fuck, was I charming on the internet again? Sorry guys, I just have to read some text messages. Beep, boop, bop, bop, bop. Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> I had blonde hair until recently, brave. But I had to dye it back. Because I was at a gas station, brag. <laughs> and at that gas station, a security guard came up to me. So not that nice of a gas station. And she said, hey, do you know who you look like? Which means it's somewhat ugly. <laughs> because if it's a hot person, they'll be like, hey, you look like, and then save the hot person? <laughs> but if it's an ugly person, they're like, hey, are you aware? <laughs> and so I said, no, I have no idea which Hemsworth brother I could be. <laughs> and she said, Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> It's like, lady, you can't change the glasses and mustache you have, that's what you're born with, you know? <laughs> but then she said, yeah, you looked even more like him last week when you came in with your other glasses. <laughs> Quick little thing, I wasn't there last week, I don't have other glasses. So she told two different men that it looked like they eat people. <laughs> Also, don't like that if she already said it to me, she set it up again. She's like, hey, remember me, bitch? Just to devastate me? I think it's very funny when people put uh, stickers over their camera on their laptop. Like, yeah, that'll stop the government. You did it. Yeah, they killed Martin Luther King Jr., but there's no way that they're gonna get past the sticker from the computer they gave you. They can't get past it. But I don't know, I think it's flattering. Because then, I don't know, they're spying on me? What? It's powerful. I mean, someone has to look through a camera, look into my room and see me jack off. I think that's a beautiful thing. Okay, I can sense that some of you are right now are like, they don't have to do that. Uh, yeah, they do actually, because I keep saying that I'm going to kill the president. <laughs> they got to keep their eye on me. All right? I've said it on stage too many times at this point. I'm finally on one of those comedians to watch list, but it's put out by the FBI. <laughs> it's so exciting. Uh, this is a, a short joke that everyone knows. So sing along, obviously. Uh, I, I'm, I'm constantly in alleyways peeing. And, uh, you know... Hey, hey, come on. Some people are heroes. <laughs> yeah, I've been there. And uh, you always see rats. And these rats, they're always running. It's like, buddy, this is your house. Just walk. <laughs> that one was just for the fellas. <laughs> Couple of good things on here, wonder which one I should do. Kind of gauging the room. For 27! Not that many, that's not what a couple means. Well, that joke didn't work either. Three for three, though, fellas. I think 
protesting is good. I say that protesting is a good thing. I think it's a good way to get, make your voice heard and cause some real change. But I do think sometimes we start protesting things too early. In, some, in uh, 2020, I was at the Black Lives Matter protest. Relax. That's not the problem. I saw another protest happening. This one was in front of the Canada Goose store, <laughs> protesting the fact that Canada Goose uses goose down in their jackets. And it's like, yeah, but give it a minute. <laughs> hey guys, we know, but read the room. Here's the thing, it worked though, so maybe we gotta get those guys protesting more, huh? <laughs> you know when they put Jesus on that cross You know that at least one guy was like This looks sick This is so fucking dope of me To design this layout Three crosses, one slightly in front of the other Okay, that's a good setting and I'm sure at the meeting they were having before they killed the Son of God, you had to have a meeting. I'm sure that one of the guys was like, well, wouldn't it be easier to cut his head off? And then another guy was like, actually, this is for my portfolio. Do not do that. Do not do that. We need this. This is going to look fucking dope. People are going to get tattoos of this. And then I'm sure at the after party, because you know when you kill the Son of God, I'm sure at the after party, that guy felt like an idiot and went up to the guy who suggested it and he's like, hey man, I'm sorry, you're right, that was fucking awesome. That was, that was so aesthetic, I can't believe we pulled that off. I want to do something good for you. What's your name? Pontius Pilate? Well, then we're going to name flying planes after you. I'm being honest, man, I thought that one would go better. I, uh, Christ, <laughs> yeah. You know, I started off pretty good, and, um, I feel like I alienated my audience. And I don't know if it's me, the guy in charge of the vibe of the room, or them, but there's really no way to say. You want to run a truck together? Just me and you, we go in on a used, used Camry? I know it's not a truck, but Christ, anything can be if you're having fun. Who the hell is that guy in the crowd? He seemed nice. Well? <laughs> kind of fun. I've already heard you guys smoke weed. The cops are on their way, but before that, I do have to tell you. I know weed's not illegal, but I keep doing bond threats. So I, I, uh, I'm just kidding. This place is safe. I promise you. I fucked that up, Christ. Because I look like this. Uh, I used to smoke a lot of weed. I used to smoke a lot of weed. And then I realized I was smoking too much because I was at a party and said to a complete stranger, Yeah, no, man, I think Dave Matthews bad rips. <laughs> I think they're in like 2015. I didn't need to be like vouching for him at that point. He was an underground. <laughs> No, I don't know. I don't know. I, I haven't done... I've, I've only done coke once. I know. <laughs> Idiot. So I only did coke once. I was afraid to try it. I really was. Uh, not because of, like, any societal implications or my health, but uh, a guy died from it on Gossip Girl. And <laughs> I was like, hey, he's got all the money in the world. Think what it will do to me. <laughs> I don't, know, I don't know not to smoke weed, though. I don't know not to do drugs. No one ever told me. I didn't take the D.A.R.E. program. I took a different program. It's called GREAT, which stands for Gang Resistance, Education, and Training. I didn't need that. No one has ever asked me to join a gang. I would love for them to. I have so many diffusion tactics I could be trying out. And no one wants me. I don't think I'd be very good in a gang, obviously. Unless they went to a pub trivia enemy. All of a sudden, 
We're at the Geeks Who Drink presents Blunt vs. Crips. <laughs> Guess who's coming in pretty hot on World War II history? <laughs> That's why I'm in the game. Well, guys, everyone liked that. That was at least top seven sets of the night, but we'll see if I can, uh, if I can inch my way further. All right. Goodbye forever. <laughs>